Commonwealth immigrant came to Britain as a full citizen to a country which knew no discrimination between one citizen and another and he entered instantly into the possession of the rights of every citizen from the vote to free treatment under the National Health Service. Only that wasn't quite true, was it, Powell? Sorry, Enoch Powell. I think you forgot about the race riots of 1919. See, an immigrant is a person who comes to live permanently in a foreign country. And though my grandparents were British citizens and could remain in the UK indefinitely, somewhere in the early 2000s, they were told they were now here illegally. Immigrants, not citizens, you know. Healthcare gone, pension stopped, totally the UK immediately, which doesn't really make sense because the 1948 British Nationality Act basically states, the status of British citizenship is granted to all Commonwealth subjects with the right to work and settle in the UK, being entitled to all the benefits. But when they relaxed the UK borders initially, yeah, it weren't for so many citizens who look like me. Or had a different culture like some of you. See, the Windrush generation generally refers to those from the Commonwealth who were settled in the UK before 1973. And any nationals that were settled before 89 are also included in the Windrush compensation scheme. Because when our grandparents were invited here to work, the intention wasn't really for them to stay, but rather rebuild in motherland. Yeah, and then get back on your merry way. But they underestimated that we came here to rise to raise our families and thrive. And a lot of them despise that. So the policies kept getting updated and the oath on our grandparents uprooting faded. To the Caribbeans, the UK was a land of milk and honey. To other nationals, the UK was a land of opportunity. Yeah, but we all still got bent over decades later by that hostile environment policy. When they paid their taxes and an eye for well over half a century, landing cars destroyed, visas rejected, and then letters suddenly sent out to leave the country. Look, I'm digressing. There is something way more pressing that needs your time and attention. Look, I need your help as a third and fourth Windrush generation. Not enough of our communities are applying to the Windrush compensation scheme. And you could be thinking, okay, cool, well, what's that got to do with me? Did you know that just because you're born in the UK doesn't make you British automatically? Yeah, and you can thank the Nationality Legislation Act of 1983. So talk to your family about their elders, their journey here and your history. Have some of your family been deported or rejected from re-entry? Status problems, benefits stopped, no employment, so no money. Go online, research the scheme, look through all the guides and help your family. Cause we're the generation that's more internet savvy. And as a close family member, you could also make a claim if the ordeal has had an impact on your health and mental state. And there's no cap on how much compensation the Home Office will pay out. So if you're eligible, read all the guides and claim the maximum amount. Because the minimum is 10K, going up to 100K plus. And yes, I know no amount of money will ever be enough for the unacceptable treatment that our grandparents and parents endured. But the more of us applying, shows that this Windrush scandal will not be ignored. There are dedicated teams just for this, giving free advice on what to do. Many families deserve and are entitled to this. And the claim? I could start from you. If you want to find out more about whether you can apply for the Windrush Compensation Scheme, simply go to www.ukmc.info or you can phone the Windrush Compensation Help Team directly. Monday to Friday from 9am till 5pm on 0800 678 1925.